I'm in downtown Dallas, Texas today, and I'm checking out the case of Botham Jean, who was murdered inside his apartment. Now, many of you guys may or may not have heard Botham Jean's name before. Um, most likely you have, but if not, we're gonna get into the case. And of course, I'm gonna show you the apartments here where he used to live and where he was killed in. So the date of the murder was September 6th, 2018. Dallas police officer Amber Geiger, who again lived in the same apartment complex as Botham Jean did. Um, again, it's the South Side Apartments here. She allegedly, what she told police later is that she thought she entered her own apartment, but somehow entered a different apartment, which was not hers. She entered, she entered Botham Jean's apartment. And again, she believed it was her own apartment. And so when she, when she saw Botham Jean there, she shot Botham as, again, she thought he was an intruder. Now let's give you guys a little bit more background. So Amber Geiger's apartment was on the third floor while Botham Jean's apartment was on the fourth floor. Meaning that their apartments were on two different floors. However, they did have identical floor plans. But once again, I know exactly what apartment is mine. Um, I know it like the back of my hand whenever I get home. Um, and I know what level I'm on when I go to my apartment complex. So I find it very interesting and kind of bizarre that she somehow got on the wrong floor, went to what she thought was her apartment and it clearly, clearly wasn't. Um, you would think for one, she would like figure out, oh wait, this isn't my floor. Um, and also see the number by the door. Usually each apartment has the number of what apartment it is. Um, you think she would see all of that and be like, put it together like, oh, this isn't my, this isn't my apartment and this isn't the right floor. Um, so anyway, again, she uh, testified that she thought Botham Jean's apartment was hers. She found the door slightly ajar and again, thought that Botham Jean was an intruder um, as Botham was sitting on the living room couch eating ice cream. After Amber shot Jean, she called 911 uh, where Botham died from his, from his wound. Amber was arrested three days later. Initially, she was charged with manslaughter, but it was later turned and changed to murder. As you can imagine, um, a unarmed black man dying by a police officer, this caused absolute mayhem and protests and rioting galore going on around Dallas. So again, at the time of the murder though, Amber was 30 years old and she had been with the police department here in Dallas for five years. She was indicted on November 30th, 2018, was found guilty on October 1st, 2019, she was sentenced to 10 years in prison, which is really, truly not that much time for killing an innocent person who was just minding their own business in their own apartment. Now, I, I put the whole 100% of the blame on Amber Geiger. Uh, she, she entered the wrong apartment, it wasn't hers, and she shot someone, again, who was just minding their own business in their apartment, um, not causing any issues, not doing anything. Now, the crazy thing is uh, she is eligible for parole as early as September of 2024. So in about three years, she is eligible for parole. Uh, her full sentence ends September, 2029. Again, I just, this whole case, when I heard about it, I was like, how do you mistake someone else's apartment as your own? I can't fathom that because again, I go to my apartment, you know, I go home, I go to work, go home, you know, on a daily basis. I, I know exactly what floor I'm on. Um, it even shows 
on most apartments and hotels it shows what floor you're on when you get out of the elevator so i don't know i just find all that really bizarre and weird that she somehow mistake mistakenly thought that his apartment was hers um, let me know what you guys think about it but anyway to give you a little more background on botham jean botham jean again was 26 years old at the time of the shooting he was a harding university alumni and he was an accountant for a nearby company jean was born in saint lucia which is again a little island the family of botham jean uh, accused the dallas police department to uh, further slander botham jean's name as they apparently seized some some marijuana in his apartment he was minding his own business in his own apartment. He should not have been killed, period. The apartment complex, again, here is 1210 Botham Jean Boulevard. And um, regardless on how you feel about the city naming the street after someone who died, I, to me, I think it's a touching, touching memorial at the very least. Um, I didn't see any like crosses or any kind of actual memorial. Um, so the fact that they changed the street sign, it, it, it kind of, it's cool in a way because it shows a little bit of respect that, you know, hey, this person, regardless of race or color, you know, this person died. Although you may say the same thing about how come they didn't rename the street after so-and-so died in a nearby apartment or, you know, I don't know. I don't know how they decide on which victim they're going to choose to, you know, rename a street sign after, but anyway guys that pretty much wraps it up um it was a pretty simple case but just again another tragic one um anyway guys i'm gonna head out of here i have a lot more cases to film kind of around texas area then i'm heading up to oklahoma and filming some stuff up there so stick around and i'll see you on the next one thanks for watching